I tested ChatGPT, Gemini, and Copilot to determine which AI is best. While ChatGPT launched first, Google and Microsoft quickly introduced their competitors. But can they manage to beat OpenAI? I tested each AI's chat responses and capabilities, and I also considered price, privacy, and each platform's unique features to reach my conclusion. Starting with the chat, each AI has both web versions and mobile apps on iOS and Android, with Gemini being accessible in the Google app on iOS. Chat ChatGPT has a native Mac app with a Windows app coming later this year. Copilot is only available on Windows, and Gemini doesn't have an official desktop app. Though with how many desktop apps are just websites embedded in app frames, I don't think it's a big deal to just make a desktop shortcut for the Gemini website. For data sources, each AI uses a mix of imported data, user inputted information, and on-the-spot web searches. ChatGPT can search the web with Bing when prompted, and Microsoft's Copilot and Google's Gemini can search the web with Bing and Google respectively to index information as needed. Now, I know there are a ton of nuances and differences between these tools, so rather than bore you with a spec sheet comparison, I figured I'd put them to the test in the real world. If you're seeking a super technical comparison, this isn't the video for you. But if you're curious about real world performance, here's what I found. Most responses were similar to each other, but ChatGPT consistently took the longest to respond. One time it took 38 seconds to generate a trip itinerary that took Gemini 7 seconds to create. ChatGPT typically provided longer responses responses, but certainly not proportionate to the extra time it took. This response time discrepancy was consistent with OpenAI's ChatGPT+. In almost every test, ChatGPT was slowest, Copilot was in the middle, and Gemini was the fastest. According to artificialanalysis.ai, Gemini comes out on top for speed, and this is consistent with my testing. Now, the AIs provide sources when using the internet to search for facts, but Copilot does this best, backing specific statements with direct sources. ChatGPT and Gemini list sources, but they're at the end of the response, leaving you to figure out what it pulled from each source. I appreciate that Gemini has a built-in fact check feature. It Google searches Gemini's responses and alerts you of any facts it can't verify with Google by highlighting the text in red. If it is able to verify a fact directly, it highlights it in green. Each AI is great at keeping up with the context of conversations, allowing you to ask follow-ups without over-explaining. By default, Copilot always ends responses with a question. I find this annoying, but thankfully you can disable it by requesting that it not do this. All three AIs let you have highly interactive voice conversations via the mobile app, but Gemini's version, called Gemini Live, is only available on Android. Gemini Live has the smoothest, most realistic voices, and I found the responses to be perfect, asking follow-up questions only as needed instead of forcing a question at the end of every response like Copilot. What are the best restaurants in Nashville? That's a great question, with a ton of answers. It really depends on what kind of food you're looking for and what part of town you want to be in. Nashville's got amazing barbecue, soul food, hot chicken, and more. Can you tell me what type of food you're craving? I don't know, anything sounds good. Okay, how about this, let's narrow it down. What sounds better, a big plate of barbecue ribs or something lighter like a fresh salad with grilled shrimp? Something lighter. Okay, if you're looking for something on the lighter side, there are a few awesome spots in Nashville. One of my favorites is Saint Añejo. Copilot's voices sounded choppy compared to ChatGPT. No beating around the bush. Nashville has some real gems. For the classic hot chicken experience, Hattie B's is a must. For barbecue, Edley's Barbecue hits the spot. And I'd say that ChatGPT does a great job overall at handling voice conversations. Nashville is a food lover's paradise. For some hot chicken, Hattie B's is iconic. Each AI can even tell you a little bit about my YouTube channel, but oddly enough, none of them told me to subscribe. So I'll remind you here. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss when I release new videos. Huh. I guess there are still some things that AI can't do. If you want to utilize AI beyond just text and voice chat, you can also use it for image generation. Each model generates similar images, but ChatGPT has image editing capabilities that allow you to select a specific section of the image and type revision requests in the chat. Unfortunately, every model failed miserably when I asked it to make changes to the images it generated. I guess AI isn't developed enough yet to understand the concept of revisions. It would just regenerate a brand new image that oftentimes didn't look anything like the original. These AIs also allow you to upload files, such as spreadsheets, code, and images. I uploaded an image and asked it to provide a description, and ChatGPT was the most thorough with its response, which seems to be a pattern with the responses. One time, I needed 
decided to compare spreadsheets and find their differences, so I uploaded both CSV files to ChatGPT, and it was able to tell me exactly which values weren't matching. I've also used AI for code assistance, including generating HTML and CSS. Each AI gave me a nearly identical styled button based on the prompt I provided. ChatGPT and Gemini also allow you to create custom GPTs based on the information you feed it. ChatGPT's custom GPT feature works okay. The guardrails don't seem to work particularly well, and there was a high rate of hallucinations. If you've not heard that term before, an AI hallucination is basically when an AI model produces incorrect or misleading information. Gemini calls their custom GPTs gems, and it didn't work at all for my use case. I wanted to create a Krayler gem that I could ask questions about my content, but each reply was met with an error that Gemini was unable to access my YouTube content. This is a serious bummer because Gemini has deep integration with YouTube, and every one of my YouTube videos is manually captioned, so the potential for a Krayler bot is high, but for some reason, I couldn't get it to work. Unfortunately, Copilot no longer has custom GPTs. Microsoft unexpectedly scrapped this feature back in July, and they haven't yet clarified whether they intend to bring it back. So up to this point, I'd say that all three AIs are similar. But there is a major variable that could be a deciding factor for you, the ecosystem. ChatGPT is ecosystem agnostic. You can use it directly on chatgpt.com or you can access it from integrations through Zapier and other platforms. For Apple users, you can connect ChatGPT with Apple Intelligence and take advantage of ChatGPT Plus if you subscribe to it. But for Windows users, you can access Copilot directly in the menu bar. And Copilot Pro integrates with Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Similar Similarly, Gemini integrates directly with Android and can replace Google Assistant if desired. You can also access Gemini Advanced in Gmail, Google Docs, and more. Because of how similar these AIs are, it might be easier to just use the AI that's built for your preferred ecosystem. But I think it's worth evaluating a bit further before making that decision. ChatGPT and Copilot can be used anonymously without an account, but Gemini requires you to be signed in with Google to ask questions. When you are signed in, ChatGPT gives you control to opt out of your data being used to train the AI. There's also a temporary chat mode that deletes conversations after 30 days and automatically opts you out of your data being used for training. It's kind of like incognito mode for your AI. Gemini allows you to turn off prompt history, though data is still saved in your Google account for 72 hours. Copilot is much more vague about data sharing. I asked Copilot about this, and it referred me to the lengthy privacy policy. I continued searching Google, and I couldn't get a straight answer. You can definitely opt out of data sharing with the enterprise version of Copilot, but I couldn't find an option in the standard version. Continuing the pattern of vagueness, Copilot's free plan is difficult to understand. When I started testing, it had a 5 message limit per conversation, but Microsoft rolled out a refreshed design that also brought changes to the free plan. Now there are seemingly unlimited messages, but you can only access the best model during off-peak times. The pro plan is $20 a month and unlocks priority access to the latest models, full usage of Copilot Voice, 100 boosts per day for image generation, and integration with other Microsoft services. ChatGPT's free plan offers unmetered access to their 4.0 mini model and limited access to 4.0 and advanced features. ChatGPT Plus is $20 a month and unlocks access to all models, image generation, file upload, and access to advanced voice mode. Gemini's free plan offers access to the 1.5 flash model. Gemini Advanced is $20 a month and unlocks access to 1.5 Pro. You'll also get access to Gemini Live, Gemini integrations with other Google apps, and 2 terabytes of storage added to your Google account. So in the end, which AI is best for you? Well, if the ecosystem factor is important, I'd recommend using whichever one ties most closely to your ecosystem. If you don't care about the ecosystem, ChatGPT offers the best overall experience, balancing response quality and features. The advanced voice mode is impressive, and while I think Gemini Live is slightly superior, it can only be accessed on Android. Advanced voice mode can be used on both iOS and Android. The free versions of each AI are similar, but I prefer ChatGPT or Copilot since you can use either one signed out. If you're going to upgrade, Gemini offers the best value with the added 2TB of storage to your Google account. Ultimately, I'm going to stick with ChatGPT for the ecosystem benefits. I'm an Apple user, and I like that I can link ChatGPT Plus with Apple Intelligence. I also like that I can access advanced voice mode on my iPhone. Now, AI is great for a lot of things, but sometimes you just want to Google something. 
But why use Google when there are many private alternatives? I compared the best privacy-focused search engines, and you can check that out here.